in our last lesson, um, we worked on the comments, and in this lesson, we're going to work on uh, the form. Okay, so um, just below our comments, we'll have a, a form element, and within that, um, I'm going to add a H3. So have your say, and below that, we'll have our paragraph. Um, and within it, we're going to add a label. So this label will only display for uh, screen readers only, and it's message, okay? Okay, we'll have a text area for our message, and we'll have um, a placeholder within it, okay. uh, which reads message. And we have an ID, so we could target this message later. And we want this field to be filled at all times. And we don't want it to autocomplete with the last message that you put in it. So set that to false. Okay, so we save that and we reset the page. And we can see our text field is there. We'll add a bootstrap class to it to style it. Okay, so we'll say form control. Okay, resets, and there we go, we have our text field. Okay, so I'm gonna add another paragraph and a label, uh, very similar to what we have for message. So it's screen readers only, and this will be for email address. This time we need an input type, um, email, and we we'll add a few things to it. So add a class, form control, and a placeholder. And this will say email address. And we want want this required. So we want this field to be filled in at all times. So let's see what we've done. We have message. We have email. So I'm going to copy uh, what we have here. It's very similar for the next. So the next one, I think, is we have message, full name, and email. So the full name I put in the middle. So we could change this so it reads full name. Um, this also needs to change uh, to full name. And this would be type text. And everything else is fine. OK, so let's see what we have. So we have message, full name, and email address. <clears throat> OK, so the last thing we need is our input type submit. So this would be our submit button. And class will be a button. And we have the color button primary. And the value will be send message. OK, let's see what we've done. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm going to add some style. We don't need post anymore, so we change that to article. And in our CSS section, we will create our article CSS file. Okay, so um, in the default, which is used in every page. I'm going to make sure there's a space at the bottom of the page of 50 pixels. So when I reset this page, we can now scroll down and we'll have that space, which is cleaner. So there are a few styles we need to, that we need to apply to our article. So if I go into our article CSS, um, we target the form on that page. We'll push everything up by 20 pixels. Okay. And there's a few other things we need to do, like the comments and the message. So we could target our header, H2. Margin bottom, zero pixels. So remove the space that you have there. And we need to add a way of styling our comments number. So I'm going to add a new 
class and I'll set the font size uh, to 16 pixels well, which is default and the color is um, C CCC so it's grayed out okay and if I come down here we could add our new class Let's put a space and then we could paste comment number there so if we reset the page you'll notice the color has changed okay so um, just a few things we need to style a couple more things so hashtag comments so this is the comment ID so we want to say margin top is 50 pixels so we need to add a space above our comments so it's nice and neat and also um, we need to add a style to our message so we need to give it a height of 100 pixels so if we reset the page we have our height and that pretty much uh, concludes the article section so everything looks exactly the same okay so we haven't worked on about us so that's this page doesn't exist so we're going to work on that next so this is where we will stop for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson